Christmas message from here in the UK, from David Clark, the director of Trojan Horse International, to Pastor and Bishop William Ola Pollock and those ministers and friends of Christ Centre Churches Incorporated, Philippines, including all prison inmates in Baguio City and Banget District Jails, and also those in New Bilibid Prison, Montelupa City, Philippines. And I would also like to include those in Pakistan under the care of Anil Anwar. Greetings to you all. I want to encourage you all to believe all the words and teachings taught in the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are living in a world where there is lots of religion, but not all that is claimed to be of God is true and honours God. I wish to encourage you all to study the Scriptures in a systematic way, as directed by Pastor William Pollock. This will direct you to understand the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the doctrines of grace. These doctrines of the Gospel are as a lamp that shines in a dark place and reveals the attributes and perfections of God, all of which are engaged to bring about our salvation. Our salvation is the result of the love of God the Father in choosing us to salvation in Christ and that before the foundation of the world. Of the miracle of the incarnation and virgin birth of the Son of God and his living and dying by shedding his blood for the sins of his people and his rising from the dead and his ascension into heaven. And in our time the grace of the Spirit of God working in us both to will and to do of his good pleasure, all of which took place when we believed the gospel and were called to faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, being born again of the Spirit of God when we passed from death to life. My testimony today from here in the UK is that the world is filled with modern atheists, by which I mean that such a person believes in God, but robs God of the glory of his attributes. God is omnipotent, omnipresent, omniscient. He knows all things. Nothing comes to pass in time and in this world without it being according to the foreordinate counsel and eternal decree of God. Take the coronavirus. I have heard religious people say, oh, it's not of God. It can't have anything to do with God. When they are reminded of the plagues in Egypt and the worldwide flood of Noah, they say, oh no, it has nothing to do with the God of today. The coronavirus and all other catastrophes has not and did not come about by chance. God has a purpose. And I think for those concerned about death and dying, then let such fear Move them to call upon the Lord Jesus Christ for salvation, for God is the only Saviour. So my message to you all is for you to be directed by Pastor William Pollock into understanding the doctrines of grace. They glorify God and bring confidence to all who believe and will enable you to continue and contend earnestly for the faith once delivered unto the saints. Don't be a modern atheist and deny the sovereignty of God in creation, providence and redemption. Praise be to God for his unspeakable gift of his only begotten Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. December 2021, David Clark.